This is Joe from What I'm Playing Now. Our final interview here of Origins 2018. We're live on the show floor. I have Brenna here from Starling Games, and we are looking at a War of Whispers. Brenna, tell us a little bit about this game that you guys have here. So War of Whispers is actually a game we have on Kickstarter right now. Okay. Um, so what we have here today is just a prototype. This won't be the final version. Um, but a War of Whispers is an area control, area influence game. Uh, there's a war going on between these five empires on the map who are all fighting for dominance. Uh, but you're not actually playing as one of them. You're playing as one of these four secret societies um, who's placed bets on the outcome of the war. All right. Um, so you've assigned loyalty to certain empires, and then there are some empires that you're opposed to that you want to fail. Um, so you're just manipulating and kind of uh, sabotaging from within. <laughs> it's kind of like, uh, for Game of Thrones fans out there, it's like if uh, Varus and Littlefinger designed oh, a board nice. game, it would be this one. So it's a lot of behind the scenes, um, kind of pulling the strings. How's the Kickstarter doing for you guys so far? It's great. We're um, like 99% funded. Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys should get that then over the weekend here. Yeah, easily. yeah, hopefully. Um, so it'll be on Kickstarter through June 21st. Excellent, excellent. All right. And then I think we're going to jump over here with Tim. And we're going to jump over. And this is a game that I wanted to see here at the show. All right, Tim. My name's Joe. Hi, nice Joe, to meet nice you. Meet you. All right. This is another game from Starling Games. This is called Arc Mage. This one looks really cool. A lot of meeples and everything going on. Let us know a little bit about this one. All right. So Archmage is set in the fantasy realm, uh, and like many fantasy realms, unfortunately has fallen on hard times. Magic has been lost, things have fallen into ruin. So the game's going to start in an unexplored state in a modular setup. So every time you play, the map is going to be different. But the heart of the game really is the magic system, so let me just walk you through that real quick. The system is divided into six interlocking spheres of magic, each of which has a unique flavor and theme in the game and allows you to do a different thing. There's a relic associated with each school that powers that school, and a mythic race on the map that will teach you the fundamentals in that sphere. So if I visit the gnomes, I can trade them back some of their widgets, and they're going to train some apprentices for me in the fundamentals of that magic. The board is divided into six fundamental levels, six advanced levels, and six master levels. So I'm going to search through my deck of 18 cards and find the fundamental, which matches the symbol there, yellow magic, and add that to my tableau. So gradually as the game progresses, I can learn more and more magic on my board from the races before I myself return to my tower and start to weave these various spheres of magic together. So taking two apprentices, I can cause them to duel. One gets a promotion, one gets kicked back to my company, and now I can learn an advanced level spell that is a combination of both yellow and green. Similarly, I can duel yellow and purple and get an advanced one there. But the trick is if I ever abandon an area, I'm going to lose that from my tableau. Okay. So I'm going to play around with either diversity of spells or I can push it all the way up to the maximum and play with less spells but more powerful spells as the game goes on. Interesting. Yeah, I will say, the table presentation of this game looks incredible. I mean, just the board, the art style and everything. And it looks like your name is on the box, Correct. so he designed the game. Correct. <laughs> it's been a long five years. <laughs> oh, really? It's been in development for five years? Yeah. A lot of playtesting, I'm guessing. Absolutely. All right. Um, and when will this be available? Okay, so we're shipping to backers in July because it went through Kickstarter last summer. Okay. And then we're going to release at Gen Con, and retail release will follow shortly thereafter. So Excellent. friendly local game store, online retailers will all be carrying this come August. All right. Hey, this one looks outstanding. We're going to stay here for a little bit and maybe check out a little bit more on this one. But, hey, everybody, thanks for joining us here live at Origins 2018 this year. What I'm playing now, this is Joe. My wife Kim is behind the camera. We are done for the year. Have a great one, everybody. Bye-bye.